Hi, my name is Fran Bailey. I'm an NCT breastfeeding counsellor. I've worked for the NCT for the last eight or nine years, supporting families however they choose to feed their baby. Towards the end of pregnancy, women start making colostrum in the breasts. Colostrum is the very first milk that babies will receive. It's quite a thick, sticky substance. It's packed full of antibodies. We sometimes talk about it being baby's first immunisation. Some mums are really aware of that colostrum towards the end of pregnancy and others don't notice it at all. And that will be there for the first few days after your baby's born. After a few days after babies are born, uh, the milk changes and women start producing milk as we understand it. And, and women can feel quite uncomfortable at that stage. Sometimes we call, call it being engorged. So breasts can feel very hard and swollen and full and it can be really difficult for mums to feel comfortable and also for babies to be able to latch onto the breast. If women are experiencing their breasts feeling very swollen and full of milk and, and uncomfortable, there's a few things that they can do to help at home. So having a warm bath or a shower, getting a warm flannel on their breasts or expressing a little bit of milk to help them feel a bit softer or even getting some help from the midwife who will still be supporting families at that point. One of the main ways of helping breastfeeding go well is by helping babies be really well attached onto the breast. And the way you sit with your baby or lie with your baby can make a really big difference to how well that works. We very much talk about babies needing to breastfeed rather than nipple feed. They need to have a really big mouthful of breast tissue so that they can effectively get as much milk as they can. To do that, mums can do a few things to really help their babies. They can lean back so that gravity helps to pull baby onto the breast. And we also talk a little bit about nose to nipple and tummy to mummy. Nose to nipple so that babies have to tilt their heads really far back so that the nipple is aimed really far back to the roof of baby's mouth, to the soft palate, uh, so that it's not hurting mum's nipple. And that they need to be able to have their heads free to tilt back to be able to do that. We also talk about tummy to mummy so that babies are really comfortable, so that their heads and their shoulders are in line with each other, so that they're really comfortable to stay in that position and keep swallowing the milk. We can see watching mums feed their babies how well attached babies seem to be at the breast and we look for really key things. So we look for baby's cheeks being full and rounded, we look for baby's chin being indented into the breast, we look for more of that dark skin of the areola visible above baby's top lip than underneath their bottom lip. So we look for a moustache rather than a beard on baby's face. And we listen for really rhythmical sucks. In the early days with a new baby, and in fact always with a fairly new baby, lots of skin to skin is really beneficial for helping getting breastfeeding going. It helps babies to get used to being on mum's chest and straight after birth it's fantastic for helping maintain baby's body temperature so mum's temperature rises in order to protect her baby's body heat and it's also really good for helping babies feel mum's heartbeat and smell mum and feel really comfortable as well as encouraging that hormonal reaction that encourages breastfeeding. Many mums find the first few weeks of breastfeeding really tough going and it's really important to get help early. It's much better to get some support on day two than wait until day 12. And there are lots of different places that mums can go and get that support. The NCT have got a dedicated helpline with breastfeeding counsellors, which is open every day of the year, even Christmas Day. You can get support from your local midwife, from your local health visitor. There are breastfeeding support groups and baby cafes located all around the country. And we would always encourage parents to go and get some support, either face-to-face -face or over the phone as quickly as possible. Although breastfeeding can feel really challenging in the early days, many parents talk about if they keep going with it, that it does feel easier and it does feel a really rewarding time spent with you and your baby. 